Hello and welcome back to Snowrunner and our hard mode series as we continue to try and work our way through Alaska. We are at the sawmill. Last time out we uh, dropped off the bricks here. Ooh. There we go. Last time we dropped off the bricks here, uh, we brought the consumables. We delivered the final drill part into the port and we rolled over the ANK for absolutely no reason. We didn't even need to be using it. Uh, today I want to try and start by clearing the uh, block tunnel. So we need to go and get a concrete block. Have we got that set up? We haven't. Block tunnel. We need to go get concrete block and small pipes. Concrete block we can get from the factory. Small pipes are from the warehouse. But I'd like to get us some fuel to start with. So we're going to head to one of the small fuel trailers. I think there's one at the service point and there's one at the fuel point or at the fuel station. The gas station. So we're going to quickly head to one of those. Top up. I might even bring one along with me a little bit. Just for the sake of shuffling. Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, we've... Uh, Got a lot of fuel here, but it's all, all at the other end of the map. It's all by the garage. We've got no fuel sort of down this end. Although I think, actually, is there not? There's a fuel trailer there. So we should be alright. We should be able to go and get this, deliver it there, and then get down there. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. No worry, no panic. Shall we try and take the horrible track? Just to sort of... I don't, know, I don't want to do it to prove a point as to why we go through, because the, to prove the point that would be that we roll the royal and we've got nothing here to really sort it out. See, look at that. It's just horrid. It's just horrid. We're not. We're going we're gonna to take the river. The Royal will not do well there. It just won't. And we can't really go that way with the Royal. That that current is way too strong. It, it would tip us over or just, we'd just not make no progress through it. I've taken the um, P16 through there, pulling logs before. <laughs> and... The P-16 gets carried, swept away with the current as well, so the, the Royal definitely would just go. We do have... Oh, turn the engine off. So we do have all-wheel drive on, don't we? And turn the engine off. Yes, we do. And then I think after we've uh, cleared the bridge, although it's sort of getting a bit late now, we, we should have done it earlier. We need to uh, get that pipeline sorted. Because I think twice now that's prevented us from getting where we wanted to go. But even here you can see the current is um, quite a thing in the deeper areas. Oh, this is where we got stuck. So we maybe take that route rather than ground ourselves on the rocks. And again, I could be sneaky and delete the trailer because where we're going, there's a trailer purchase point and we can get another one, but. I won't. Not unless I get <laughs> get really stuck. Just abandon the trailer and replace it with a new one.
ammo. Again, <laughs> for about the millionth time, this is where we see the lack of Diflop just making the Royal look weaker than it needs to. I'm sure there's a there's a JBE, JME, I always forget, uh, version, mod version of this that probably has the diff lock. <laughs> and probably a better lower centre of gravity as well, so it's not so tippy. I've never used it, if there is one. I'm sure there is. Because that would be quite a beast. Like I say, the truck is good. It's, it's powerful. It's quick. It's got all the all the add-on capabilities. It's just that diff lock. Just makes it weak. Makes it so weak. Now this is where it would have been nice to have had the maybe had the ANK with us because we could have just pulled a much smaller. But actually, what we might do. Hmm. Is this sensible? I don't know. Possibly not. We switch out. Because we'll have better manoeuvrability. With that trailer, won't we? We only want small cargoes. So let's switch out. I'm not sure where the metal beams are going. Or if they're going anywhere. So we can just unload them. Sorry about the camera angles. It's a shame that's not metal pipes, isn't it? Right. I think they possibly should have been used for a, a bridge assembly earlier on, but we went and got others instead. So, concrete block. Just the one. so small isn't it <laughs> it's just so small um, yeah because if, we'd, if I'd have brought the Yank in the ANK I'd, I'd have probably just sort of auto done that paid the 150 Now we've we've now lost a lot of stability in our truck so you know this could now this could, <laughs> this could be the beginning of the end of me <laughs> doing this but hopefully we'll be all right we should be all right it just gives us that little because when we when we have to go and get the small pipes that's that's quite a tight little area so I just think this will give us a little bit more manoeuvrability.
Oh, and always, uh, thank you very much for coming back and uh, joining us on the series. Slow progress, but progress nonetheless. And slightly more eventful out in last time with the roll. That should be an easy recovery, really. Or we could just leave it there forever, since I don't think I'm ever going to have a use for it. But we will uh, we will bring it back to the garage. I think I said last time out that we'll probably end up selling the ANK to help fund uh, a different truck for our next American out-in. Because after Alaska, we do go to uh, Russia. So none of these trucks will be coming there with us. We will be starting afresh. So we want to make sure we've got enough money there. There's what I'd really like. There's there's two mod trucks that I'd like to get into this playthrough for the uh, Eurasian area. The European-Russian part. So we'll try and get at least one of them in to start with when we get to uh, time here. Alright, so now we just need to... Go down, we'll go along the river. Doodle -doodle -doo, up and um, grab our small pipe. Oh, oh wow. Fuel, man. How are we running out of fuel? What have I done to suddenly waste so much fuel? Spinning in the mud, isn't it? That's what it is. It's spinning in the mud. Right. High range, no control, downhill. Oh, you can do it in high range. I'm going to lose my voice in a minute, I do apologise. Look at the bounce on her. <laughs> oh, could you get stuck? I thought our fuel was doing a little bit better than that. I really did. Let's so hope we used up as much fuel just coming back empty as we used to come in all the way in, which is strange. I think it's strange. I don't know, we got this camera angle either. Sometimes it's hard to tell how how much of an angle you're at when the camera sort of does its own thing. Probably go a different route out as well once we've got our load. And the fuel is just the other side 
of that red cargo container. It's just there. Perhaps I left my engine running or something, I don't know. That is a little bit close for comfort. So if we detach the trailer, because we're going to have to get up alongside. <clears throat> Excuse me, there we are. Hopefully, hopefully that'll get you good for a few minutes. Small pipes. I don't think it's that heavy. I think we should be able to just grab that without the uh, the anchors. Even a little bit better. A little bit better. I'll do. Ooh. Well done. Should we go back the way we came? I just don't like that route, if I'm honest with you. I just really don't like it. Um, although this one can be a bit of a Bizzle itself. Tip and point there. Tip and point there. Let's let's go for it. Should we pack the cargo? I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm sure we won't. All this for a tunnel that we might use twice. It's just been an... Again, it's a little bit like the pipe uh, line bit that we haven't repaired. We should have done them earlier on. I was too busy enjoying the flow of everything else that we were doing. Uh, they sort of slipped my mind, I think. Even though we stop at them every now and then to remind ourselves, oh, we need to do that. It still kept slipping my mind. No diff is going to be fun, isn't it? Come on. But a different trailer combination. Same truck, different trailer. That's how we're mixing it up today. See if we can get a a bit here, this might make our screen short. Who knows? Who knows? Right, so we just want to go left here. Yeah, we've, if we'd have had the five slot trailer on, obviously we wouldn't be as agile, we'd be, uh, you know, not as maneuverable. Not as maneuverable is the, uh, the words I'm after, I think. Nice and easy around here because that can be a bit naughty. Uh, 
There we go. So then we'll look into, like I said, we'll look into what we need for that pipeline, I think, next. We'll probably need to go back to that warehouse and grab stuff, because that's where the pipes are. But there we go, block tunnel. Uh, we're kind of short on folks with uh, trucks big enough uh, to have much use uh, with things like this. Goodness knows how long it would have taken us to get this done on our own. So, just, you know, two grand, 270 on the old Exeter to be, and we're up to uh, 173,000, which is nice. So, let's have another little beaches. Where is the Valley Pipeline building? Oh, so the medium, or oh, the metal beams go there. And we want some medium pipes, so metal beams we got. Um, if I track it right, so, oh, it wants an oversight, it needs a lot, doesn't it? Uh, metal beams, which is there, spare service parts, medium pipes, wooden planks, and an oversight. So Wooden planks. I think the only place to get them is from the sawmill. Oh, no, we might be able to get them here. Yeah, wood planks from there. Metal beam. Wood plank. Medium pipe. So then it's spare service parts from there and an oversized container from there. So I think we're going to get our medium pipes first. Jargon? I think that makes sense. Let's do that. Since we're here, we'll go back that same route without the worry of fuel. Oh, crikey. Without the worry of fuel this time. And because I'm going to have to go in and out of the area... Um, I won't do the deliveries with this trailer, because I can't reverse this, so we'll get the medium pipes, and we'll probably drop them off near the uh, metal beams. We'll then take this trailer and go and get our wooden plank, singular, our spare service parts, singular, and then put everything on the back of our five-slot trailer and have one item stacked on top and then we can back that out over the bridge 
and then we can actually you know we can get the spare service parts when we go and get the large cargo so yeah we just need to go get the wooden planks because then that'll, that'll be five slots and three slots I think Trying to go a little steadier this time. Sometimes I feel like when we're going slower, though, there's there's even more risk of rolling. At least when you're going at speed, you can you, you sort of get out of that tippy area pretty quick. I don't know. How do you guys find it? What are your preferred techniques of getting through the the slopey, the tippy? Let's keep saying tippy. Tommy tippy sippy cup. Unless <laughs> anti spill, other cups are available. Um, yeah, what's your favourite routes, techniques, methods? Are you uh, more aware and <laughs> put yourself a safety winch out first? Because I don't think about safety winches until after I've rolled, and I'm like, oh yeah, I should have put a winch out, protect myself. That's why that tree is there. Could have used it. Now, we might not get this pipeline completely finished today because I want to try and get my day clock back to where I want it, 7-7, seven, seven, instead of like half eight till nine or whatever it is we're doing at the minute. It's, it's really off sync. Attach. Let's make sure we can get our medium pipes. And for them, I, I will put out the anchor just in case. Pack it, pack it, pack it. And we're pretty much going out the same way.
just chucking a little winch out, trying to keep us in motion. Momentum is key to a weighted hill climb, I think. I can't lie, I am I am somewhat looking forward to uh, as much as I love Alaska, I'm looking forward to getting to a different map, just so I can possibly be in a truck that I have a little bit more faith in than the, than the Royal I was so nervous with it all the time let me just have a look, see, where do I want to go is it worth trying to pick up the logs first, I might do that Actually, yeah. Shall we do that? Um, oh no, there's no... Oh yeah, we can. We go in there, don't we? Yeah, let's go get... Just balance the logs on the top. I think we should be fine doing that. Not... Yeah. Is it logs? Not logs. You know what I mean. The um, metal planks. How well they'll stay on the top here, I don't know, because this is a little bit bumpier than I uh, recalled. But perhaps going a little bit slower, we might be alright. We don't have the hitch, we could probably just balance it on the back of the... Uh, Back of the Royal. These aren't the best trailers we're trying to overload on, but... Can only but try. And I think the, other than the consumables, I think the, the wooden planks are like one of the lightest things anyway. So unpacked on the top there, it's not making much difference. So which way am I going to go round? Go that way. We'll go that way.
I don't think any of this needs to be delivered in a particular order, does it? No. Sorry, I don't know why we were in low gear that whole time. We could have been in auto or even quicker. Okay, so if I unpack everything, detach. Get stuck here. So next up, we want service hub, and then from there, so we could get the service part first, we can refuel up this end, and then come back down. And then we've got everything we wanted. Then we can just concentrate on delivering it. almost thought out, isn't it? It's not. It's all on the fly. <laughs> I 
That's why things go so wrong for me sometimes, because it's not really all that thought out and planned. I do the planning when we look at the map, and that's it. Come on, get you free. I'm just going to quickly nip in here and grab some fuel. I, I'm not certain whether we need to come back in here and get anything else. What does this place have? Just drilling spare parts. We don't need them anymore, I don't think. So I might take this fuel trailer out, actually. I can get it on the back there. Oh, it's not got a, not got a point on the top, unfortunately. I grab it from the side. Just sort of. Lay it on at all? Not really. On. That's kind of on, isn't it? How well do you think that'll stay up there? not going to stay at all, is it? Right, yeah, we shall. Try and winch it then. I was hoping that'd just sit up there. We could have had an easier life. But now it's going to flip about. <laughs> Slow me down. Getting away. Behaving itself now, it's on its wheels. I was just checking that and suddenly just detached. Since it's gone quiet, it's still there.
I'm not certain if we need any more of these parts either, but I'm going to leave it there for now. And it's just the one, isn't it? Yep, just the one. At least either be right at the front or right at the back. Wish we've got some oversized cargo we get next. Actually, I might as well just tow that fuel trailer up to the top of the garage, might I? We've got so much fuel up there anyway. We'll get a big cargo container. I'm going to go that way. Now there's a fuel tanker up here, but I think we've probably took quite a bit out of that. I'm happy to leave this one there, because I know we've got some other uh, large containers and oversized containers to, uh, to do. As long as it's out of the way. Try and get ourselves as straight as we can. It's so annoying. It's <laughs> so annoying that they do that. It's no way I try. Oh, uh, there. Right. 
oversized container. Too far, too far. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Right. So what we got fuel wise in here? Right, it's getting light, so what's the time? Wrong one. What's the time? 6.30. Right, let's get a little way up the road. A little way up the road. Not far. Got like a, a minute and a half. Let's get to the front of our garage. Our garage. And that should pretty much then reset our time. Now I think I can balance my wood beams, <laughs> my medium pipes and my metal beams on here for delivery. And I've only got to take it a short way. I think that'll be more than doable next time out. We'll see if I remember that when it comes to uh, recording it tomorrow. <laughs> so that is going to be it. This is going to be where we're going to finish off today. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on. Find out when new videos are going live. This one is a few minutes shorter than usual. We're trying to swing the clock back round. Um, we got the delivery done. And we are now getting ready to do quite a big one. Um, hopefully I'll remember and we'll try and um, stack it all on there for a bit of fun. We'll see if we can get it all down in one go. <laughs> That'll be quite, quite a thing. Um, but yep, yeah, thanks for watching. You guys have a wonderful day. And hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.